I grew up in the west side of Compton, California. Compton is a gang-infested city. About 90% of my friends who I grew up with are involved in gangs. It was normal to be fearful. I've been shot at for apparently no reason. There were times where I couldn't even walk down the street. Literally a few houses down because I was fearing for my life. You learn something new when uh, death happens. My friend uh, Boston got killed right there. Rest in peace to Boston. Then a couple of months later, Pup got killed. Then Braves got killed. I done been about 50 funerals. Just crazy. I try to use it as motivation. To stay focused, like, stay grounded. I'm the youth assistant here at Union Rescue Mission. Uh, I wasn't planning on working here too long, but interacting with some of the kids and hearing their stories and just, just um, seeing them laugh and the joy that they have, why would I not want to be a part of these kids' lives? We know that the young people are going through probably one of the worst times in their life, an embarrassing time, a devastating time. Our goal is to make the experience the best we can, the most normal we can, the most encouraging uh, that we can. What's going on, man? How you doing? How long have you been here, though? Um, we, we came out here um, Thursday. Okay. We were still looking for um, a home assistant. We tried in Vegas, okay. and it didn't work out. Yeah, okay. These kids see way too much by the time they come into Union Rescue Mission, and they suffer a lot of trauma. Remarkable things happen here at Union Rescue Mission and at Hope Gardens, and Matthew and the team help make it happen. We try our best just to make sure that the kids are happy, make sure they have things to do. In some respects, I'm the closest thing that they have to dad. I'm the closest thing they have to big brothers. So um, I don't take that lightly. We have different volunteers for coming tutoring. We have Bible study for the boys and the girls. We have birthday par monthly birthday parties that, that the kids love and they really look forward to that. I take this kids to School on Wheels. Uh, uh, big ups to the volunteers at School on Wheels. I also have our life skills class. We have different volunteers come on Monday nights and talk to the kids. These people who sit in traffic in rush hour and come down here just to spend a couple hours with the kids, motivating them, encouraging them. All right. As most of you know, at least that have been here before, we always start our class off by applauding our students. We applaud you not for what you will do in the future, or what you've done in the past. We applaud you simply for who you are right now. Come up here, please. Really, some incredible things can happen in a young person's life just by some encouragement. We've had a young lady go from here to Harvard. Uh, we've had a young man go from here to uh, Loyola Marymount. When I look at these kids, I see they have so much potential. Potential to have great careers, be great individuals in life. My hope's for the kids, that they stay focused, that they realize that it's more than life than Skid Row. I'm trying to explain to the kids, um, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere.